Hi everyone. In case you don't know me, I'm Christina Ayala. I'm a mindset nurse coach and this is my series Monday, 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 <laughs> Mindset Monday. My goal here is to give you some ideas on how you can live your life more intentionally. Today I'm going to talk about the art of slowing down. And yes, I considered it an art form, especially today in, in today's society with hustle culture. It's huge. So we want to do all the things, see all the things, make all of the money, um, formal jobs, cram as many tasks in as they can to keep you productive and get every inch out of you. And meanwhile, we're letting our health and other important areas of our life suffer. So the first tip I have for you is monotasking. We work really hard to multitask and get as much done in a very short time, but what about monotasking? Monotasking is where you concentrate on one task at a time, and really focus on what you're currently doing, whether it be dishes, watching TV, playing with your kids. For some, this will be really easy, and for others, this will be really challenging. And this can also be a form of meditation because you are putting all of your focus and energy into one thing that you're doing. The next tip is look inward. Spend some time with your thoughts. Journaling can be really helpful for you to figure it out what it is you need in the present moment. And it can also be cathartic for you to write your stream of consciousness out or follow journal prompts. And of course, there's meditation. I'm always going to have meditation in there. And um, there are many meditations that you can do. Even a simple deep breathing meditation will help you gain some clarity. And of course, reduce activities. If your life is feeling hectic, chaotic, and you're jumping from activity to activity without a rest, then you may need to reduce some of your activities. There are different seasons in our life that will be busier than others. But if you're being too busy and you just feel like crazy, then it's time to really reevaluate uh, re what's important in your life. And it can be hard to cut things out. I know this firsthand. I love to do all the things, um, but I'm at a stage in my life right now where I have to cut things out, and that's okay. Um, some signs that you may be too busy, and just like a little disclaimer, this is not a medical diagnosis, and you should check with your healthcare practitioner for any specific evaluations if you're having medical issues. But some signs that you can be too busy are headaches, Fatigue, are you getting enough sleep, body aches, feeling on edge, anxiety, feeling stressed out, unable to turn off. These are just some warning signs your body might be giving you um, to tell you to slow down. Using your imagination and being creative is my next tip. I want to talk about creativity and imagination and Bessel van der Kolk um, said in his book, The Body Keeps Score, which really good book. I just started it, but it's really good if you need to do some um, trauma work. He said, imagination gives us the opportunity to envision new possibilities. It's an essential launch pad for making our hopes come true. It fires our creativity, relieves our boredom, alleviates our pain, enhances our pleasure, and enriches our most intimate relationships. So likewise, being creative also allows us to play and have fun. It opens our minds to other possibilities, enables to explore, and along the way we might even learn a lesson. Um, one of my personal favorite ways to be creative is do art journaling. It's fun, it's creative, it gives me an outlet to express my thoughts, emotions, even put you know, down on paper what has happened. Sometimes I'll use pictures, stickers, paint, draw, collage, whatever. Um, some other creative avenues you can explore are dancing, painting, sculpting, uh, sculpting, sewing, writing, poems or stories, singing, playing an instrument, and coloring. These are just some of the few things you can try out. There's so many different ways you can be creative. So I hope you found this helpful. These are just a few ways that you can practice the art of slowing down. It is definitely a little bit of practice needed for that, but I have faith in you that you can do it. 
If you do need any assistance with this, please feel free to comment or message me. I do offer a 90 minute uh, complimentary coaching session. If this is something you're interested in, let me know. Uh, this next Wednesday coming up, that's September 15th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will be doing a live meditation on gratitude. Uh, so look out for that. I hope these tips were helpful for you uh, to live your life more intentionally. And until next time, I hope you have a beautiful week. Have a good day.